What's up everybody, it's Christina from Photosprouts here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you the rest of the behind the scenes of a portrait photo shoot using an ultra wide angle lens and an off camera flash. So in the last video I talked about the subject placement, the camera angle and also the composition when it comes to ultra wide angle portrait photography. I'll put the link of the last video in the description down below just in case new viewers want to check it out. The old railway station was our last location. Valeria climbed on a black steam train because it would go well with her red dress. Okay, I'm bending down using my 15 millimeter edge of the lens. Okay, ready? Yeah, one, two, three, go. Bring your dress backwards a little bit more so I can see more. Yeah, like this. Wow, your legs are so long. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Grab your dress more elegantly with the other arm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Higher up, like more on the edge. Yeah, like this. Good. So the dress and her foot are close to me. So there's distortion there, but that's good. Just make her look taller. Yes, yeah, go up. Like, like this. Yeah, yeah, like this. Woo! Woo. But careful, okay? Uh, I still want to center you in the frame. Ready? Yes, like this. And look to that side, yeah. One, two, three, go! dress down yeah we'll do the wild shot later okay this is like a lady shot now you can see that's how I compose my shot yeah I don't want to put her too much on the edge rather I would turn my camera until she's in the middle but I'll see the end of the train on the left side of my frame and while it's like you kick out one foot be yeah like this yeah one foot higher up and then this foot you can stick it out like this Ooh, nice Someone was trying to steal our belongings, and thankfully Liana, the assistant, resolved the situation. We wanted to wrap up the photo shoot quickly so that we can go home. I'm going to finish the session by using the trains on the side because they are natural leading lines. I center Valeria and shoot from a lower angle so that the sky becomes the background. And this is a symmetrical composition. Yeah, nose towards the light. Good. Flowy dress. One, two, three, go. We also took some shots in front of the Ferris wheel earlier. So pretty. Oh, the wind. Yes. Shooting at Valeria's chest level. Give me a wild look, sexy and wild look. Yeah, like this. Personally, I prefer using a flash to pure natural light in portrait photography because I can control the ambient and the subject exposures separately. With a flash, I can use it as a soft fill light to make the subject stand out a little bit from the background or use it as the main light when I underexpose the ambient light a lot. The background goals for pure natural light and off-camera flash portrait is very different and may be completely opposite. For instance, in pure natural light portrait, you want to avoid a background that is brighter than a subject. Otherwise, 
otherwise it will be washed out when you expose for the subject. But in off-camera flash portrait, you intentionally want to find a background that is brighter than the subject, so it will look nice when it is underexposed. And I hope to share with you my experience in shooting off-camera flash and natural light portrait in this class, from natural light to off-camera flash portraitures, in which I will guide you step-by-step -step in different lighting conditions. And in one of the off-camera flash portrait chapters, I'll share with you the background that I look for to make my photos look very dramatic. And there are two scenarios that I will shoot in pure natural light. One of them is when I'm doing light and airy portrait, and I'll also talk about that in the class. So I hope to see you there or in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. We're Photo Sprouts Photography Workshops in San Francisco and Palo Alto. Equipment is provided for beginners so that they don't have to buy a camera to come to a photography class.